Accelerator Science is really focused on developing the basic capabilities that move industry and science forward. And that's really what we're focused on here at the ATF. About a year and a half ago, the ATF has been operating uh, as a DOE National User Facility under the Accelerator Stewardship Program. Its mandate is specifically to support fundamental accelerator research and development of accelerator technologies that can be used for scientific applications and in industry. So here at ATF, we have two main parts to the facility. On the one hand, we have the electron accelerator, and the other component is the CO2 laser system. It is a terawatt class short pulse CO2 laser, and this allows us to focus the laser down to very high peak intensities and gives us the ability to do experiments which are possible no place else in the world. We have a number of research programs underway at the ATF. One of our basic accelerator science research goals is to study things like wakefield acceleration techniques uh, for future particle accelerators. We have a number of experiments that take these structures, bring them here to utilize the, the high brightness beam that we provide, and then characterizing the effect that these structures have both on the electron beam and what is emitted from these structures. These dielectric structures can also be used as very intense sources of terahertz radiation. So this, uh, this wavelength range is extremely useful for studying materials and looking at the dynamics of these materials. One of the facilities that is part of our portfolio is the ultra-fast electron diffraction facility. We have a user proposal for the upcoming year, which is specifically to go through and look at the structure and use this facility to study the structure of high temperature superconducting materials. This UED program is funded by US DOE BES uh, and uh, Early Career Award program. Uh, the goal of this program is to disentangle the role of some really complicated issue uh, uh, orders uh, in very special type of material called correlated materials. By using this ultra-fast electron diffraction techniques, we try to understand why those materials, they possess very remarkable properties. The project I'm going to work in very soon is the thermal transport. By using this ultra-fast electron diffraction, we can see the diffraction change of nano-sized nano material, and then we can tell how this thermal energy moving out from this nanomaterial to the background. The ability to access capabilities that are available in the U.S. National Laboratory System is a key goal for accelerator stewardship. Uh, it's traditionally been a challenge for industrial users to make the connections that are required and it's specifically one of the things that we are going out now and trying to establish those connections and understand how best to support industry in these roles. It's very exciting to work here because uh, every week users come with uh, different projects and uh, one day it will be one week it will be ion acceleration, another week it will be electron acceleration uh, by inverse free electron laser action and uh, next it will be Compton scattering we put biological objects and produce phase contrast images of it. It will be uh, applicable to material science and uh, biology, medicine. Even combination of this uh, with the same laser now, we study possibility to increase X-ray energy by accelerating electrons and producing Compton scattering with the same laser. This is something new, unique never done before. It's always exciting to do something that people never did before. <laughs>